we're going to get right into it, guys. I'm not going to jibber-jabber a bunch. I got a fire going. It's colder than a well digger's you-know-what out. Real quick, if you haven't checked out the new white camo ducks hoodie, this is the one I'll be wearing in the field now. Go check it out. I'll link it in the description below as well as beanies. It's snowing. It's cold out. It's frosting. It's icy. Go grab you one. Link in description. So, guys, let's get into this. First of all, first of all, when I, when I talk about this to anybody who asks me, you know, how many decoys do I have to have? That's the number one question I get. The deal is, is if you're wanting to target very, very large groups of snow geese, you know, like you've seen that two or three videos ago where we had those spins on us of two to three to four thousand birds per spin. We had like three spins on us in that one hunt. If you're wanting those results multiple times a year, it's going to require a lot of decoys. I would say over a thousand socks. You're going to need over a thousand socks. Yes, that's a bunch and a lot of you, your jaw just dropped. But like I said, if you're wanting to target snow geese in particular, the large wads, getting them to spin on you, that's what it takes. Now, as I say that, a lot of you have a lot of dark full body decoys, you know. Maybe you've been duck hunting and you shot a snow goose. A lot of times if you can just set out 10, 12, 15 snow goose full body decoys in your dark Canada spread, you'll kill them. I did it a bunch this year. We'd only set out 10 or, 10 or 20 snow geese and we killed them. It's all about scouting the field, seeing what's there, seeing if it's dark geese, if it's snow geese. If it's snow geese, what, what snow goose is it? Are they Rosses or are they snow geese? Are they immature or are they mature? It really matters. It's like when you find a dark Canada goose feed. You want to know if there's cacklers, lessers, or honkers. Or if they're all there. Or what is the majority species that is feeding on that field? So long story short, let's get back. I'm, I'm, I'm getting off on rabbit trails again. Just scout. Learn your snow geese. Learn your lessers. Learn your Canada's learn the juveniles to the mature geese. So juveniles, snows, or rosses love the rotary. They love motion, they love spinning, they love motion, they love that rotary. The olders, I've heard, don't like the rotary as much. The older snow geese don't mind having some more Canada full bodies and less white socks. But if you want the wad of juvies, get those rotaries going, sit them behind you, and wait for the show. So, that was some scouting tips as well. I know I'm going to jump around a little bit, but I'm going to do it so you guys follow me. So, with that being said, do you need a thousand decoys? Do you need that? No, you don't need it to kill snow geese, but if you want to target snow geese and the big wads, I know this is the third time I said it, then you need a bunch. If you want to just get ones and twos or one group of snows in, buy a little bit, throw them in your dark spread, and you're good to go. You'll kill a few. So, now we're going to get into how to set this 1,000, 1,500, 2,500 decoy spread. Check out this picture. All right, guys, check out this picture. How we're going to start it is by wind. Wind matters on any decoy spread that you run. Wind, wind, wind. I stress it every how-to video that I do. It's getting freaking smoky in here, man. Gee, man. So notice, the wind was to our backs, like always, so it was coming in this direction. And you notice where we're sitting. We're sitting right here. Now, let me explain this spread. So basically, the snow geese are going to decoy into the wind. All birds, if they have a choice, will decoy into the wind 100% of the time. So what we have is at, the, at our feet, at the base, at the start of the spread right here, this is where the trickling effect works. We're going to give them basically a line to follow and offer them a hole right at our feet to land so we can shoot them in the face. So what happens is the winds to our back, like I said, right here, they come into the decoy spread this direction. And basically this line right here, the only thing it does is guides them to the hole. Now you see we have this big open hole right here and this is where they will decoy feet down at your feet every time. Now keep going back into the wind. You're going to run about 10 to 20 yards off of that kill hole. You'll see where it gets really white. That's all of us where we're laying facing the hole. Right behind us you can't see him because the drone was up so high. Behind us is where we have the rotaries 
and the flyers. Now, we did throw some flyers here, 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 but the rotaries are always behind us right here. Now, why do we set the spread like this? This is why, because snow goose hunting is the best on clear days, no clouds in the sky, windy, and cold. So for one, the sun makes all the white socks pop bright so they'll see you from farther away. You can traffic them and draw them towards you. Two, high wind just makes them get down, plus it gives you more motion with your wind socks. The rotary helps behind you, but like I said, scout the field. If you have older snow geese, I really don't recommend running the rotary that much. If they're all juvenile Rosses or snow goose, use a rotary. They love it. But the wind offers a lot of motion in them socks. And number two, cold. If it's colder, it's going to be better. They're going to know that they're going to need to feed up so they can stay warm over the nighttime hours until they feed the next day. Or maybe they're planning on moving out with the front or during the front, who knows, and they feed up a bunch before they move out for flight. So the cold and the wind offer this heavy feeding. And what's great is why the spread is shaped, look at the picture again, like this, and, and why we have all the motion and rotaries behind us is a whole scheme of the snow goose biology. If you guys ever find a huge massive snow feed and it's cold and extra windy so it's got a bitter wind chill, you will see them feeding into the wind and they're jumping over each other to the front of the pack to get to that non-eaten food. The best food is where the, you know, all your buddies haven't been yet. So jump into the front of that line to the front of the pack into the wind they cover the field they walk across the field and they cover area they they eat a field out that's why snow geese are so bad because they cover so much area so quickly and ruin winter wheat that fast but when all three of those ingredients come together it makes magic simulating snow geese jumping over each other to get to the front of the pack to get the fresh food is vital in high wind in high wind, the wind chill is greater. They're going to eat harder. Now, with that being explained, let's kind of move on to what decoys are where. So let's look at the picture again. So in the kill hole, in this area right here, we have a lot of full bodies. We'll have some families out in the middle. I never put socks in the middle of the kill hole full bodies in this general area. And then, of course, wherever you guys are laying, make sure you pack your socks remotely tight. Now, you would always don't have to wear full painter suits. A lot of times, I will wear the white top like this one, and I will wear camo bottoms or brown pants or brown overalls on my legs just because it'll blend with the dirt. I found that wearing a full painter suit is really bright, so kind of mixing it up half and half works really well. So essentially, the only full bodies you need to worry about sitting, if you have this many decoys, guys, I know it's a lot, but remember, this is to target massive flocks of snow geese. You know, when you find a roost and you know that there's two, three, maybe 10, 20,000 on this thing, and you want to get them at your feet, this is the spread to do it with. I'm gonna hook my homies up with some information. If you guys don't wanna buy all these socks and all this white, here's a little trick. Check this photo out again. Now, if you just cut this thing in half, so right here, cut it in half. Lay the same way, have your kill hole. You don't have to have a full circle, just a half, just a half circle kill hole. You can put a lot of honkers, a lot of lessers, a lot of Canada full body decoys at your feet and then use socks to hide in white. It works a lot for winter green winter wheat fields when you have nowhere to hunt and you can't use lay down blinds. It works great for that. So remember guys, if you don't want to buy this many white freaking decoys, you can always cut this spread in half, run it the same way, put your darks at your feet, but I don't recommend running rotaries and or, and or many flyers or spinners when you only have this size of a decoy spread. The larger the decoy spread, the more action, uh, you, you get the hint. But that spread right there is the spread that we ran forever. We still killed snow geese, not as many as now, of course, it's just the dominance of having 1,500 or 2,000 decoys on the ground. It 
is strong. It has a lot of power. A 1500 to 2000 decoy white spread is very powerful. Most of the times with this decoy spread, when we set it, we don't even call. The only time we'll call is if we have some Canada's flying over to get their attention. But other than that, when the snow geese see it, they're either going to like it or they're not. Calling is kind of, it, it's not even worth it because when you get a thousand snow geese or five or two thousand snow geese above you, it doesn't matter if you had a call in your mouth or not. They're not going to hear you. You can't, even, you can't even hear your buddy talking beside you. They're so loud. When conservation season comes around, all you guys know that your boy is going to have an e-collar out. I'm trying to get one as we speak. I'm going to have an e-collar out when conservation season comes. I cannot wait to use it. I can't wait to see the difference that it makes on having them snow geese just dedicate right off the bat rather than look and spin and look and spin and then finally do it or leave. I'm excited to see the difference. I've never been on a big conservation hunt with an e-color. I've never sat with an e-color, so I am extremely excited for this conservation season. I can't wait. And believe me, we're gonna be videoing every one of them things. Oh, I know that was a lot of information. I don't wanna make this thing 15 minutes long on a how-to video. If you guys have any questions right now, right now that you're like, well, he didn't cover this, or man, what about this? I was wondering about that, or whatever. Drop it in the comment section below and let me know. I'm always answering the questions, especially if they're good. And honestly, a lot of times I will get a video idea off a lot of your guys' questions. So ask away, please. But I covered most of the spread. I have a lot more information when it comes to snow goose hunting and a lot more how-tos written down that I'm gonna be doing. If you guys have a video idea, let me know down below also. But I wanna thank you guys for watching yet again. If you like this how-to video, smash that thumbs up button, please, and let me know. Because the end of the season will be here in a month, month and a half, whatever it is, and believe me, we're gonna have how-tos coming back on strong. So I wanna get my ideas written down from you guys. I wanna know what you guys wanna see. And if you haven't subscribed, go hit that subscribe button down below right now because this train is not gonna stop we're gonna keep growing we're gonna keep coming out with better ideas bigger hunts and just explore the crevices the corners of waterfowl hunting in general together on how to's on hunts ducks geese it doesn't matter when I started this YouTube channel, I was like, I'm going to be the biggest, I'm going to be the best waterfowl channel on YouTube. So that is what we're going to do here. Get on the train or get the heck off. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for commenting, for saying thank you, Bobby. Great video for saying you've taught me so much. I appreciate you guys. You guys are what keeps me going doing this. You know, just let me know that that video that I did that I thought might have been stupid, you guys enjoyed and you're like, thank you. Because without you guys letting me know, I really don't know. So I appreciate you guys a lot. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace. Yeah. Guala, 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 guala. I'm living like it's no tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead. I'll put my...